Hello, this is Veko. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the beautiful city of Cologne here in Germany and I'm inside a very, very special, very historic place. I'm inside what is called the LD House. Now, this is the name for the building where the Gestapo was interrogating, uh, torturing and killing inmates between 1935 and 1945. So allow me to take you for a tour, especially of the basement where the original cells are, so you can see what was happening in here. Now, hundreds of uh, inmates died in the hands of Gestapo, especially in the courtyard. You're going to see where they were executed. So let's go through now. This building is very famous, not only that it was, uh, or infamous, not only that it, because it was a Gestapo building, but also because of the inscriptions. There are they had been saved on the walls of the cell, so I'm going to show you some of those as well. So join me all the way from Cologne. This is Vic. Bye bye. I'm in the basement, and you can see four of the original cells with the original doors. Now, what this uh, this building is well known for is for the inscriptions on the walls. So if we go into one of the cells, you're going to see the inscriptions. They have been reproduced drawings right there. And the notes here say that the inmates used to use anything they could. Their nails, actual nails, pens, pencils. In the, this particular cell, you can see the inscriptions right there. These are the original inscriptions. You can see a name, Scarolo Claudio, 6-12-1944. So this person wrote that on uh, December 6th of 1944. You can see some more inscriptions right there. Now, I cannot enter this particular cell. It is, uh, there's a piece of glass in front of it. But I can see very clearly the inscriptions. And uh, I'm in the basement. You can see where the toilet was right there. I'm in the middle of the basement. And you can see there used to be a wall, or a very thin wall, separating the basement from the rest of the room. Now, in one of the other corners over here, there was a system for disinfecting the inmates. And that's because, uh, according to the notes here, there was extreme danger for typhoid, typhoid fever. And that's because of the overcrowding and the conditions that the inmates used to live in. So that's the toilet, and this is where the system over there used to be to disinfect them. And uh, here on the wall, you can see the space for the toilet I just described to you a few seconds ago. Here on the wall, you can see the pipes coming through the wall. This is where the sinks used to be for washing. So you hit the toilet, the sinks, and on the other side, right there, the place where they used to get disinfected at. And uh, here's the actual cell. You can see how narrow it is. It's about one meter wide, but it is uh, very long. And again, there were no sanitary facilities in here, no toilets, nothing. They were all using the toilet that I showed you just uh, a few seconds ago. And right here in the basement, there were 10 cells that were exactly the same, just like this. 
As a matter of fact, we can move over. Here is the last one. So now I'm in the basement, but let's go down to the lower basement so I can show you the place where the inmates used to be tortured and also the place that used to be used as a bunker or as a shelter during the air raid. Let's go down there. I am now in the lower basement and what you are seeing right there in the middle of the frame is the bunker or the air raid shelter. So whenever there was an air raid, the Gestapo, the members of the Gestapo would run over here, close themselves in that space and close this very heavy, thick door. Now let's go through so I can show you what else was happening in these spaces as well. You're going to see another door right there to my left. And if we go down a little more, there's another door right there. Now, right behind these two doors that you just saw, there are very, very small rooms. And these are the rooms that were used for torturing the inmates. And again, being in the lower basement, people in the upper floors, the inmates could not hear the screaming from down here. Now these rooms here are so small and uh, there used to be chains hanging from, uh, from the walls so the inmates would be tied to the chains and they could not lay down. That's how small the room is. It's about uh, one meter by one meter. So the space that you see here as I'm backing out of it, it was used for the protection of the Gestapo during air raids and uh, first of all and secondly, and unfortunately, for torturing the inmates. Okay, now I'm going to move around to the other side of the basement and we're going to see more cells. Right here. You can see how heavy how thick the doors were on the cells. But the best example of a cell with inscriptions is the last one. Right there. I can't go in, but I hope the camera can capture the inscriptions right there. There's a lot of them. Here are the inscriptions and I hope the camera can do a good job recording. It's very difficult because there's a piece of glass at the door. So the camera has to record this from behind the glass. But you can see them, they're everywhere. Now what you see here is one of the doors to the cells and uh, this is the inside part of the door, but there's an inscription. And I hope the camera can do a good job picking it up. Right there, you can see it right in the middle of the frame. And if I move the camera a little over, right there you can see another one, right where that mark is. There's two marks right in the middle of the frame. You can see writing there as well. And here's a door to one of the cells. So there are inscriptions almost everywhere. You can see the whole door right there. Now the device that you see in the center of the frame was discovered here in 2001 on the, uh, under a staircase and uh, this is what was used by Gestapo to disinfect 
the inmates. Remember when I showed you the uh, toilet, I said uh, next to it, they were disinfecting the inmates. Not because they cared that they would be clean, but they were, uh, there was a great fear regarding typhoid fever. And this is the device right there. This is the original device. Now we are entering, we're still in the basement, we're entering the uh, place where the Gestapo guards would be located at or would be spending their time. Right in front of me, right down there is the original toilet used by the guards. Right there. And this is their uh, recreation room for the guards, right there. And if you go this way, you go to the courtyard. Now you see here it says that uh, more than 400 inmates were executed in 1944 and 45 in the courtyard. Let's go. That's the door right there in the middle of the frame that uh, I used to exit the building. And this is the courtyard that has changed dramatically, of course. There are a lot of structures built around it now, but this is where the inmates were executed by the Gestapo right here. And here's the last view of the four cells that we saw in the beginning. Right there. Now there are two more floors right above the basement that have been converted into a museum. And there are very extensive exhibits describing the history of the Nazi party, especially as it developed here in Cologne. There are quite a few rooms. Unfortunately, all the signs are in German. But I want to give you an idea of the rooms. I mean, you can spend hours in here. Well, for those of you that follow my channel, you do know that I have a very similar video from Dortmund that I videotaped a couple of months ago. Now, that Gestapo site and jail in Dortmund is far, far bigger. And I invite you to watch that video as well. Thank you for joining me all the way from beautiful Cologne. I hope you enjoyed this tour, this very historical tour here at the LD building in Cologne. Bye-bye.